Hi, welcome again to Azure Remote App Series. Today I'm going to show you how to manage users for our remote apps in Azure and add multi-factor authentications to protect our account. My name is Ruth Limunuko and you can follow my Twitter, blog, or YouTube channel. Visit my YouTube channel for latest demo on Office 365, SharePoint, and Azure. In Azure, we use Azure Active Directory to manage user authentications. However, sometimes the normal authentication is not enough. To increase security, we can use multi-factor authentications or MFA. MFA is a method to authenticate users using two or more factors. It could be a password and token, password and biometric, or password, token, and biometrics. Basically, it's more than once. So in this demo, we will manage the user using our remote uh, Azure Active Directory and configure MFA to increase the security of our remote apps. Let's open Remote Apps User Management in Azure. As you can see, I only have one users in my remote apps. If we want to add the users in these remote apps, we must first register the users in Azure Active Directory. It doesn't matter whether the user is coming from EAD, Microsoft Live, local account, but the remote apps will only recognize the users after it's added to Azure Active Directory. So I open my Azure Active Directory and this Azure Active Directory is linked to my remote apps. I will select the users in this Active Directory. And I will add to my remote apps. I just click on the remote apps. User access. And type the users. So when the remote apps can recognize these users, it will show the green icon. So it's a green icon, we can just click save. There is. Now let's try to add the users to our Azure Active Directory. It is very simple to add the users. So just go and click on the users. Click add users. Let me type Nathaniel to so next and we'll type the first name, last name and dis display name and role. For the role we have a global admins, users. So for this I will just select users. Here we got the temporary password. You can forward this password to email, but you just copy paste. It's very simple. As you can see, I'm adding the users in different Azure Active Directory. So you cannot use these users in our Active Directory, uh, in our remote apps. If you want to use these users in our remote apps, we have to move the link between the remote apps and the Azure Active Directory. So I'm going to move the Azure Active Directory to our remote apps. So the remote apps subscription is uh, no create available. So I'll just change the Active Directory for this uh, no create available to the heads up.
we just click and confirm directory mapping just click OK once completed the portal will restart and you will have new filtering options this directory filtering options on the top right So in the subscription, we will click the subscription and we will select the filter by directory. And I will click uh, it's up and click apply. So basically what we have done is to move the link of our remote apps from one Active Directory to another Active Directory. So we will be able to use the, the new Active Directory for uh, our remote apps. So the page will refresh and now it will show the resources linked to the selected directories. We will open the remote apps user management and try to add the users from our newly linked Azure Active Directory. So this will be the same thing. And by the way, I've removed all the users from my remote apps before I connect to new Azure Active Directory. The reason why I do this is because it's necessary, otherwise the remote apps will not uh, be able to work properly because it will contain orphan users. And the orphan users are the users which is linked to previous Active Directory. So it's empty users now. I just type in my users from the new Active Directory it's up on Microsoft.com and that's it all the applications now available to the Active Directory to the users in that Active Directory so very easy just click Save and if you log in using this credentials you will be able to use the uh, remote apps as in as a user we just try to click a uh, remote apps we we'll try to test using the newly created uh, users just type Nathaniel and it's app on microsoft.com this the password given by Azure okay so here we already used the new users a new Active Directory for our apps it's very easy I just click here to show you that it works right now we close now let us add a multi-factor authentications to our active directory and and just close this one so to add the MFA to our active directory I will click multi-factor authentication provider and click create a multi-factor authentication provider it will show me a wizard and when you create an MFA provider we must select the pricing model either per users or per authentications I prefer per authentication since I may have many users but few authentications and my users are not all active you may want to have a use per users if you have many users that doing many authentications and the pricing model cannot be modified so think carefully because uh, you only select once during the creations and after you will take it all the time let's click OK
this will go to the to enable the MFA for our Azure Active Directory users. So just select the Active Directory and click Manage Multi-Factor Authentications. It will open the MFA portal. Again, the detail of uh, MFA configuration will be covered on another video. So I will select the users and click enable to enable the MFA for the users. Once in, we enable, the users will have the MFA features. I select the first and second option to ensure that we will have the first time login experience. Let's click save. Now let's try to open the remote apps using the credential that has been MFA enabled. Just type the users Nathaniel. Click continue. Since MFA detects that this is my first login in MFA, it will ask me to provide the contact information. The contact information will be used to send me an SMS or call my phone number. If you don't have the phone number, don't 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 worry because you can use the uh, the apps in iOS or Android. I just select my country, Singapore, and my mobile number. And I want to send uh, SMS to my mobile. Okay, I receive my token. I'll just put the token here. Okay, and it's done. And the rest, we will be able to launch the remote app as usual. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to visit my blog at blog.lipinuko.com uh, subscribe to my youtube channel bye bye